Conservatory was started as a, a, a program as part of the Strata Center for the Performing Arts to go out and provide uh, uh, artistic enrichment for students in the community. Um, and Blake is about three quarters of a mile down the street from Patel. And so over the years, how it started is Patel has a community outreach program that they do. And as part of their community outreach, they, they've come to Blake or have artists come down to Blake and work with our students um, in one of the areas, I, whether it be uh, musical theater, drama, um, uh, band, chorus, orchestra, piano. We made an offer for some students to be able to come over here and have their, their four or five academic classes that they needed here at Blake. and then around lunchtime each day those students go over and they have about six or seven hours of intensive ballet study or dance training in the afternoons over at Patel. Hi I'm Wendy Lee, I'm Vice President of Education here at the Patel Conservatory at the Strauss Center for the Performing Arts. And I'm Peter Stark. I'm the Artistic Director of Next Generation Ballet and the Dance Chair here at the Patel Conservatory. It's been a long, evolving relationship that began um, prior to my arrival here at the uh, Stras at the Conservatory. Uh, we've always done outreach and had a good relationship with our touring shows and taking professional artists over to Blake. But I think once the Conservatory opened, we had to kind of figure out our role in the community and what it was we were going to be offering that would help supplement what is already being served in the community. So we started the conversation. It was very relaxed at first with Blake, and then little by little, it got to be a little more defined. And I think the, the turning point to me, I think, was um, with Tom Ziegelhofer, who was an AP, who um, also worked and played in some of our um, shows. He played trumpet. And we made some good inroads there. And then eventually, Scott Roots became the principal, and he had a real open, big vision about how we could work together. So we started doing a little bit more collaboration with them coming over for our Broadway show, Wonderland. And um, I think now that Greg Basham is there as AP, the, the, and Scott is over at Orange Grove, it's really a highly integrated professional learning community through all the magnet schools. So I think everybody's on the same page and looking at how we can complement one another. And I think Peter has a really great relationship going with the dance department because he came in and really saw what they needed and was able to articulate how to share the students and complement their needs. you want to speak to that? Yeah, I mean, I think that what we have 
with our dance program and Blake is, is really unique in the United States of America in that um, we're really playing nicely and the children are benefiting from that. And um, in a nutshell, Blake is able to offer um, a very uh, multifaceted dance education that includes ballet and contemporary dance, and we're hardcore ballet. So I think at Blake, the students um, are becoming diversified as dancers, but they're really honing their core technique and their classical technique with us. We do have some of our students, like Sasha and Jackson, who um, take advantage of both dance departments. They, they were students here. They're also a part of Patel's program. Um, they come here for their academic classes, but they also stay here and receive dance training and then also are a part of the Next Generation Ballet Intensive Dance Study Program over at Patel. I'm 16 years old and I'm a junior at Blake High School. I'm Jackson Patel. I'm 18 years old. I'm a senior at Blake High School. My first class at Patel, it was, I was definitely like scared to come in, but it felt very comforting and unlike it kind of felt like homish, like a home dance class, like it's like a family kind of thing here. Especially because like, I already knew some of the girls, so it wasn't a very big, difficult change to just come in. So it was good. I came in not knowing anyone and just taking class, and I was nervous. I was, I was really nervous, but because it was my audition class. And I just felt like there was like something good that was happening here that I wanted to be a part of. Have you seen a growth with, uh, within the relationship between um, Blake and Patel while you were, when you guys have been in the program? Yes. <laughs> um, especially within my personal dancing and like with the teachers, like even like the growth and relationship between us all is very very good. So. Miss Albina and Miss Yvonne and Miss Rail at Blake and Miss Albina and Peter, they all like they're all like working together a lot. To like really focus like what's best for all of us, which I really enjoy. Which is a good thing. And it like it's not, and it's like I, you can see like yourself growing too. Like if you take a step back and like watch yourself where you come from like in the past like year, hmm? and like the relationship between like the businesses here like has grown a lot too. Like um. <laughs> Last year, like, if you were just a student at Blake, classes were like 7.50. So you like, drop in and take class. But, and now, like, Mr. Basham has this program worked out so that you can come, you can, like, go to Blake, and then you can come here, take class. Like, a few of us do, there's about five of us. Yeah. We are students at Blake, and then mm -hmm. come and dance here after, like, fourth period. Blake helps us continue like with school, so we're on pace with school and also putting our 100% focus in the competition as months and months came on, especially that week of why did you be coming? Just like keeping the focus, like knowing what you're supposed to do, because that's one of the things that Blake focuses on more, is like more repetition and just doing the same thing over and over and getting it right through like muscle memory. Patel has a lot of 
with all the one on one coaching and everything, they really just helped us and like then every night before we would like have like a run through so like to get all the, the jitters and stuff out that helped a lot. Right, like the run throughs, like in costume and makeup and hair. Mm -hmm. So and just really more of like the I think that was more of the artistic side, like and knowing like what your character is and stuff. I think uh, with, with Peter's uh, arrival full-time at our uh, organization, it really kind of jump-started quite a bit. And I think we've also, we have a, a music chair and a theater chair now, so we have more defined programs, so we're going over on a more frequent basis doing some vocal work, and just a little bit more with our community uh, partnership programs, and uh, we're able to bring outside touring artists in on a more regular basis, but I think Peter really kind of defined it more. Well, in the, in a very simplistic way, we started offering daytime classes. And day, that Blake happens, of course, during the day. So when we had day classes, the students were able to kind of move back and forth between the two programs within the traditional school day. Well, I, I, do, I think that one of the most significant growth, uh, growth that we've seen over the last couple years is when Mr. Stark came in over at Patel, certainly um, there's a lot more activity and a more intensive study of dance going on at Patel and <clears throat> a, certainly a, a, an influx of students at the same time because of the caliber of, of a staff member that they have at, at Patel at this point in the dance department. So you've, um, and then in the last year, you've also had a change in their, their um, instrumental music department with their orchestra. And then I know they've also started a vocal music program. So. Patel has really grown and is starting to flourish um, in the last couple of years. And, you know, that, that also coincides with um, Blake really has grown uh, quite a substantially in the last couple of years. So it's nice to see that both programs are growing. And I feel like probably working even more closely with one another now than we did in the past. Well, we share about 10 students with a dance program. Um, and again, we're able to really offer them hardcore ballet technique, which gives them line and form and clarity of movement uh, that serves all dance forms. Um, so there's about 10 students that go back and forth, and um, what's nice is that we've really uh, catered the program individually to each student. So each of the 10 is doing a slightly different program between Patel and Blake. Uh, Jackson and Sasha um, basically study with us Monday, Wednesday, Friday during the day, and then at Blake on Tuesdays and Thursday during the day. Um, and then we share them for performances, which takes coordination between Miss Albana, the dance teacher at Blake, and myself. Um, but what's happened is, you know, they have really benefited tremendously because they have basically double the amount of performances that they would have otherwise, and two complete dance teams working, you know, to help them reach their goals. Of course, Sasha still has another year of high school to go, but Jackson right now has, has two full dance scholarships to college, you know, which are you know, forty to $50,000 a year of scholarships. In addition, he has an offer now with Orlando Ballet to be a professional dancer. So he's really poised to move into the field, and, and I think he was able to do that because of the opportunities that Blake and Patel were able to give him. a handful of students uh, in mostly our musicals that I've seen that we've shared and I see there are a couple of students that I've seen grow up from uh, gosh when I first started here like seven or eight years ago that I'll go over and go, oh my gosh they're at Blake now they've grown up you know you were you were eight once what happened and uh, to be able to see that the performing arts is still a vibrant part of their life and that they just it a lot of it has to do with scheduling and interest level and what the, the show happens to be. But I think we do um, share students and they maximize both opportunities to the, to the fullest. From my observation, I feel that there should be more students who are dancers at the lake or students that are students here 
should go take class at Blake and be in the same like program that we are in part of. Mm -hmm. Growing programs, yeah, Peter. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like two people can accomplish more than one, and it's that simple. So, you know, again, when you have two sets of teachers, two sets of resources, um, really the possibilities are limitless. And um, with each really moment, we keep expanding the relationship. Uh, most interestingly, this summer we're actually using uh, Blake's dance facilities and some of their theater facilities to, to have the opportunity to expand our summer intensive program. And what's nice is we've used that program to recruit kids nationwide and many of those students that are coming from out of state are actually registering at Blake. They're moving here with their families and then they're, they're registering at Blake because what we don't offer here is academic education. So um, Blake can give them academics, some of their art education and then we can give them the rest of their art education. And you know, I think the future is the possibilities are limitless at this point um, because we're working so well together. I think that we're always looking for ways that we can um, collaborate with one another and be able to have um, the students really be rewarded by the relationship. And you know, there are it's working very well on a number of in a number of places already. Um, we're simply always trying to find ways to, when I, whenever I have conversations with uh, Miss Lee or the staff over at Patel, we're simply always trying to find ways where we can take the resources that are available to us, either whether they be resources that are available to Blake or resources that are available to Patel, and find, how, find a way to make them the most advantageous for the students that we possibly can. And so that, I'm sure, over the next few years or into the future, that will present itself in a variety of ways. Well, one of the things that just happened for us, which we're really excited about, is we're now accredited with the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. So what we are now hoping is that um, the classes that Blake students take with us here can be applied uh, for credit uh, towards their uh, academic graduation at Blake. And um, that will really open tremendous possibilities for the students at Blake, I think. And I also think that it would be great to uh, have more collaborations. We're talking about doing a combined choral uh, concert in the fall with uh, the different magnet schools and taking that to another level and also doing daytime clinics so that there could be different uh, uh, specialties taught in each room and we could become kind of a home for um, in-depth education in performing arts and share that throughout the county. Well, I just, uh, I love the synergy that we have, and I just think the location is, is perfect with the, it being walking distance along the beautiful river. So we're both, Greg and I both have a dream of being able to connect it even more so on the riverfront. So I think just a more visible and uh, high traffic kind of relationship would be great.
well, I think that it definitely benefits the students and um, it has been successful. I think it's becoming more successful and we're working more closely with one another over the last couple years. And the, the, the two students that this, this particular program has been centered around, you know, are um, certainly two young people who, who coexist at both places and they are, um, a, you know, an example of the kind of success story that you can have when you're um, a student who is at, uh, at Blake and also a student at Patel or participates in the programs at Patel and, the re and just how you can use the resources to help um, make you more successful and achieve more.